Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. Dem vulnerable DeFi is one of the best challenges, the best exercise to practice the skill of smart contract hacking. It's basically a group of smart contracts in hardened framework where you need to try hack and solve and practice your hacking skills. It's one of the best ways to practice your skills and the US version was released several months ago in 2023. And in today's video, we're gonna learn first what is them vulnerable DeFi, how to get started and learn how to solve the exercises. And I'm also gonna share with you some amazing tips alpha tips of how to succeed those challenges and CTFs and how to enhance your experience and enhance your learning process while solving these challenges. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is them vulnerable DeFi. As you can see, it's a war game to learn offensive security of DeFi smart contracts. In my opinion, it's better than Eternaut because it's more realistic and you interact with smart contracts that look and basically show you how real DeFi protocols are built. In order to hack the contracts, you will need to utilize different types of attacks like flash loans, price oracles, governance attacks, NFTs, DEXs, lending protocols, and so much more. And as you can see, currently there are 15 challenges, 15 exercises. In the future, the creator of this challenge is adding more challenges. So I remember when I just started solving it, there was like 10 or 12, and now there are 15. Here you have some instructions and tips of how to play the game. You need to clone the repository, check out the most recent version, install dependencies with Yarn, code basically your solution in the JavaScript files or create smart contracts to hack the vulnerable contract and then run the contract, run the challenge with yarn run with challenge name. Now, don't worry, I will show you step by step of how to play the game, how to clone, everything that is described, we're gonna do now together. Here are some tips of how to approach the solving these challenges. First, you need to learn how Ethers and Hardet work because the smart contracts and the repository is based on Hardet framework, which means that the smart contracts are written in Solidity programming language and the test files, the file basically that triggers the transaction to the smart contract and test if you were able to pass the challenge is in JavaScript. So we need to know both JavaScript and Solidity and Ethers and Hardet in order to solve the exercises. The second tip is also very important. Basically, they're simulating an environment. They're simulating locally a blockchain and you have different accounts that send different transactions. One account, the deployer of the vulnerable contract that they need to hack. One account will be a user and one account is your account. This is the player account and every time you send transactions in the JavaScript file, you need to make sure that you use the connect player command, hardet command, in order to make sure that you send a transaction from your player EOA external old account. Here you have some troubleshooting and support and Q&A. If you have any question, you can reach out to me. You can watch my walkthrough tutorials where I walk to you with every single exercise how I solve it. If you want to learn more about the future exercises, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna post more walkthrough videos for every exercise that you see over here in them vulnerable DeFi. So in order to start play and start solving the challenges, you need to enter to this repository. And this is basically the repository. You can copy the URL or just take here the SSH URL and clone the repo, basically downloading it to your local machine. So I'm just gonna copy the URL, open a terminal. If it's Windows, then it's gonna be a CMD and then git clone, then paste the repo a URL. Now you already did it, so as you can see, uh, I already have a folder because I already done it, but if you don't have a folder, this command should download all the exercises and all the repository to your local machine. Now I'm going to change directory, so I'm gonna go to cd dem vulnerable defi. I also have v2 and v1, so I'm gonna go to v2. And now I'm in the folder of the exercises. I can do the command ls to see what kind of files and folders we have over here. 
I'm just gonna use VS Code to look at all the repository to all the code. So I use the code dot command to open my IDE in the current folder. The first thing you need to do in order to prepare the repository is, yarn, is basically run the command yarn install. This command will install all the dependencies that the challenges need in order to run successfully. All the libraries, all the, the contracts, all the dependencies that are not included in the repository that basically the challenges are dependent on. So just by running yarn install, you make sure to update all the dependencies and download them to your machine. Now, once you finish the yarn install command, this should be your folders. And now we're going to go through the most important folders and files. The first file file is the package.json file. As you can see, this file contains all the dev dependencies, all the libraries that we need to install, that we installed using yarn install, and scripts. Scripts are simply shortcuts. So instead of running in your command line, yarn, hard test, and then the full path of the test file, you can just uh, execute a command yarn run unstoppable. And it will try to run the script of unstoppable and try to see if you were able to complete the unstoppable exercise successfully. So this is the package.json file. This is the hardet config file, the most important file for hardet framework for hardet repository. Here you can see all the settings, all the configuration of your hardet, the smart contract version, some settings of the networks and dependency compilers and etc. Now, these are the most important folders. Here, this is the contracts folder where you can see all the folders. Every exercise has its own folders. For example, the first exercise is unstoppable. And as you can see, these are the contracts that this exercise is consists of. Receiver unstoppable and unstoppable vault.sol. These are the contracts that you need to hack and find vulnerabilities and exploit. Now, some of the exercises will require you to create your own malicious smart contract. Where are you going to create them? Here in this player contracts folder. So you can place all your malicious contracts in this player contracts folder, deploy them, and basically interact with the vulnerable one that resides within these other folders. The other important folder is the test folder. The test folder is where all the test files are, all the JavaScript files. And Similar to the contracts folder, you can see that every exercise has its own folder. So for unstoppable, we have unstoppable.challenge.js. And this is basically all the setup of the exercise. All the constants, all the accounts, this is the before, so this is all the setup. We get all the signers, all the accounts. Right, we deploy here, deploy here the vulnerable contracts from the deployer account. As you can see, we set, we send some transactions. Okay, and here this is the execution. This is the section where you need to write your JavaScript code to exploit the system, to exploit and bypass the exercise. Here in the after section, they make sure that the conditions are met, that you were able to exploit the contract, to exploit the system, and to pass the exercise. So you will have only to change this kind of a code section in the test file in order to complete the exercise or create, a, in addition, you might also need to create some malicious smart contracts and deploy them and send transactions to them. Now that you understand how the folder structure look like and how exercises, how they are consisted in the damn vulnerable DeFi challenge, I want to share with you some amazing tips that will help you so much while going through the challenges. The first tip is the most important one, and this is read, read, read carefully, read in depth. Go to the exercise and read the instructions. If you are on the first exercise, read it again until you understand what the exercise is about and what are the objectives. The second tip is to go to the test file and the contract. So if it's the first challenge, go read through the smart contracts from top to bottom, try to understand how they work, how the functionality works, and also read the test file to understand how the state looks like, what kind of accounts are participating in this exercise, what kind of transactions are being sent, and how the system works. Now, meanwhile, you, you read the smart contracts, you can add some comments that will help you understand better the contract. Or maybe you found a vulnerability already, or you found a bug that you want to exploit, then you can leave a comment. Now, I'm using this kind of audit special comments, for example, something 
something is missing in this constructor. This might be a comment that I might leave while examining the smart contract. And later on, when I try to hack it, I can go back to this comment, look at them and see if I can exploit this problem, this vulnerability somehow. In order to use this kind of special audit comments, you need some kind of VS Code extension that's called Solidity Visual Developer. If you want to learn more about this extension, make sure to watch my other video search Solidity visual developer Johnny time and I have a full tutorial about these special comments and this extension that helped me to audit smart contracts. Now the next step would be to try to break the exercise to bypass the challenge which means going to the test file trying to uh, complete here the execution uh, part send transaction maybe deploy some smart contracts under the player contracts folder and then trigger them here to the javascript file and try to exploit the exercise the contract so you're going to go to your terminal and run yarn run unstoppable unstoppable is the first exercise and then it's going to run your scripts your files to see if you pass the challenge as you can see i passed the challenge because here is the solution i can comment it out and if you didn't pass it you didn't complete it yet then you will see an error right you will see that you didn't you weren't able to met all the conditions like here expected transaction to be reverted this did not revert because we didn't reach the objective now let's say you cannot find out the vulnerability you cannot exploit the exercise and you got stuck now here i want to share with you some tips what to do when this happens the first thing i want you to do is try harder try harder sit on your ass and try to think how to hack this smart contract why the exploit doesn't work why there is an exception why there is an error until you make it if you still cannot make it take a break go out take a walk go to the gym do some meditation meet people be with your family take some breaks sometimes your mind need to process everything maybe you go to sleep on it and the next morning you will wake up with the solution in your head so take a break it's okay let your mind let your brain process what you learn and come out with creative solutions it takes sometimes it takes some time now if you still cannot do it if you're still stuck make sure to watch my walkthrough videos i'm gonna publish walkthrough and solution videos for every single exercise from unstoppable to the last one so you can watch my videos and see how to solve the exercise yourself that's about it i hope you will enjoy your journey becoming a smart contract hacker and if you like this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the comments below i will see you in the next time bye bye